Hello, Earthlings! Today is Saturday, December 15th, and last night I saw The Hobbit. Actually, it's still last night for me, even though I'm filming this uh, at like 5, 6 in the morning. It's just I haven't gone to sleep yet because I didn't get home until 2 in the morning because it was a late showing, and then I went out and had fun with friends. This actually marks the first time I've really gotten out and done something since moving to Oregon. So it was good times. It was a good thing to do. It was very healthy. It was very mood uplifting. It was very depression fighting. It was very awesome because The Hobbit. So these are my first impressions. Number one, Martin Freeman is a magnificent Bilbo Baggins. Now Martin Freeman is generally an amazing dude. If you're not familiar with him in any other films, he has been in things like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the movie adaptation, and Sherlock. That's right, BBC's Sherlock, the modern day adaptation of Sherlock Holmes, in which Martin Freeman plays Watson. Fun fact, Smog in the Hobbit movies is Benedict Cumberbatch, a.k.a. Sherlock Holmes. I'm sure most people watching this already knew that. I just, you know, I love knowing that, and it's, you know, cool, and I'm a dork, so there you go. So I just felt the need to reiterate it for anybody who might not know. Martin Freeman, as I said, amazing guy, great actor, and here's the thing, he actually looks like... Ian Holm, the guy who played Bilbo in the old Lord of the Rings movies and in the intro to this movie. Speaking of the intro, as much as Martin Freeman is fantastic and does a beautiful job as Bilbo in this movie, the intro is long. Now, I love long movies. I like a slower pace, generally, but I do have to say the intro drug on a bit before we actually flashed back to the glory of Martin Freeman. Not to say In Home isn't wonderful to watch, it just, it was a little weird uh, watching The Hobbit and taking so long to get to The Hobbit. And by that I don't mean The Hobbit, the creature, I mean the story. I had a few other pet peeves, such as the height of the dwarves seeming a little on the short side being too close to Bilbo's height compared to the size comparison of hobbits and dwarves that we have already established, but, you know, okay, I can get over that. And another pet peeve of the CGI being just too CGI-y. Yeah, 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 that's just not a word. It, it was, there was, the CGI was just kind of off-putting. The main orc in this movie, instead of being make and an actor showing us his facial expressions was a CGI'd face, and it was just very apparent. It was apparent in some other places too, though that was the one that bothered me the most. It just, it just did. There are other pet peeves, there are things to make fun of, but by and large this was a good movie. I mean, knowing that it's the start of a trilogy, Speaking of which, trilogy? Do we need three movies for The Hobbit? Apparently we do, because Peter Jackson is adding in things from the appendices, extra information that wasn't in the original story, but was canon nonetheless. With minor changes, of course, to make it fit. I'm a little nervous about that, about spreading The Hobbit out, because it just feels uneven. The Hobbit was a smaller story than Lord of the Rings, and as much as I love it honestly more than Lord of the Rings, it was a smaller story and it seems oddly balanced to stretch it out this much. Nevertheless, I did enjoy it, I enjoyed the hell out of it, and I plan to see it several more times. As a fan of the old cartoon Hobbit and the book, I felt the movie didn't quite reach the mystical, fantastical levels that I always have in my head for The Hobbit, but it did strike the right balance to me of drama versus more comedy and quirky moments. After all, The Hobbit was more of a children's story, whereas Lord of the Rings was more of the you have graduated to adulthood story, enjoy the pain and suffering of the characters. Though obviously the pain and suffering of Tolkien characters is not nearly anything compared to the pain and suffering of modern day characters such as, well, Game of Thrones. Let's see, what have I missed? Gollum was fantastic. The dwarves, though, again, like, not quite what I expected, were fun, and yet warriors, and blah, and <laughs> this is This is going nowhere. This is nonsense. I'm pretty much done with giving you my first impressions without giving you any spoilers, so 
that I, I, I can't tell you anymore without going spoilery. That's it, I'm not going to promise that the comments will remain spoiler-free, so bear that in mind, and I'll be happy to answer any spoilery questions down below. Those are my first impressions. I hope to come back with more of a properly put together review later, but that's that's my first impressions. This is what is bubbling in my head, and I could not wait until later to say to the camera, it's a good movie, go see it, it's kind of slow, and some parts could probably be better, but it is awesome, and as much as that word gets overused, it is just, mm. if nothing else, go see it for Martin Freeman as Bilbo, and of course Andy Serkis as Gollum. Those be my first impressions! Until next time, I'm Adam the Alien, a fare thee well!